Hey guys, welcome back to our F1 2010 career mode. We're here for round seven of the season. We head to Turkey for the Turkish Grand Prix at Istanbul Park. Some consider this circuit to be Felipe Massa's playground. I think he's won here three years in a row, 2006, 2007, 2008. I'm pretty certain he's an expert at this circuit. Maybe James Early driving for Lotus, of course, might be an expert at this circuit as well. Let's check out the championship standings before getting into this race. And make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So Massa does have the championship lead again. Vettel in second place, followed by Mark Webber and Lewis Hamilton. And we sit all the way down in 11th place, just one point off my Michael Schumacher. I don't expect to stay anywhere near that. I'm expecting to fall all the way down to maybe 15th place come the end of the season. But because we had such a good start to the year, it's put us, put us in a great position for the rest of the year. And uh, Red Bull leading the way in the Constructors' Championship by 10 points ahead of Ferrari. Lotus, we sit in 6th place, only one one team yet to score and that's hrt let's get into the race let's ride on board then for a lap of this beautiful circuit i do say felipe massa's playground because i'm pretty sure he won here three times i'm pretty sure he won between 2006 and 2008 he definitely got his first win for ferrari at this very circuit and it was on the calendar all the way up until i want to say 2011 maybe 2010 and then it randomly appeared back on the calendar for one specific year one very unique year, 2020, during the COVID pandemic. And they were trying to fill the calendar with at least a, a number of races. I think we ended up with having 16 races that season. Which, in my opinion, 16 to 18 races is the ideal length for a Formula 1 calendar. Anyway, let's focus on this circuit. This is the hairpin of, I believe that's turn 7. And this circuit is most known for this uh, quadruple apex turn 8 that we're going through here. We've got loads of understeer though, which isn't nice. And the AI, I have a feeling, are very fast because Timo Glock has pulled away about three seconds on this lap. And I'm holding up my teammate Yano truly. Uh, but maybe it's similar to what we saw in China, where the practice, their times aren't actually the real times they set. It was very strange in China. On a practice lap, Timo Glock pulled away from me five seconds, but when I crossed the line, my lap time was faster than his. I think it's just sort of how the game works. Anyway. This is a great overtaking opportunity down into this hairpin as Yano Trulli's forcing his way through. And then a couple slow corners, a couple 90 degree corners to finish off the lap. That is a lap of Istanbul Park. So you'll notice I'm wearing something completely different to the practice lap we did. It's because I recorded that yesterday and uh, I did half the race, but the difficulty was too high. So we had to turn the difficulty down. <laughs> but Mark Webber on pole position ahead of his teammate Sebastian Vettel. Then it's the two Ferraris, then the two McLarens, then the two Renaults. Adrian Sutto, though, breaks that, that sort of streak and he's ninth ahead of Nico Rosberg. My teammate Jano Trulli up in 18th place. We need to finish 18th or higher today and we start in 24th place. No risk of rain which is good. And we're going to start on, let's have a look, the pri the option tyres. We're going to go to lap 10 on the option tyres and then switch to the prime tyres and do a 19 lap stint on the primes. Tyre wear here though is extremely high. And I reckon some drivers will go on to a two-stop strategy. We're going to stick with that one stop and hope it pays off. Let's get into the Turkish Grand Prix. It's all set for a fantastic Turkish Grand Prix. Mark Webber on pole yet again this season. There's my teammate Jarno Trulli up in 18th place. And James Early starting 24th behind the two HRTs. Let's see what sort of start we can get to this race as the lights appear in the distance. The revs rise. And the Turkish Grand Prix of 2010 is underway. Got a pretty decent start already side by side with Chandok on the run down to turn one. And we send it up the inside of a few of the AI drivers. No, no I can't. Still side by side with Chandok. He holds on to that place. So we've gained nothing off the start there. We'll have to make it all up later on in this race. Maybe around the outside here. No. Maybe to the inside. No room. Chandok and Degrassi going side by side. There's no room for me to get past. So I need to just wait for an opportunity to overtake here. Maybe on the run down to turn seven. I'll jump to the inside. Of both those cars and up the inside I go. No, Glock, what are you doing? Maybe that was my fault. But we do have a slight bit of damage. It should be fine. We've gone past Glock now, up to 22nd place through turn 8 for the first time in this race. Ooh, understeer. A bit of understeer. We'll get that wing re re uh, repaired at least at the pit stop. To the inside of the grassy here. 
Now he's broke real deep into that corner. And now it's the long run down this back straight. This should give me an opportunity. Side by side with the Virgin of Degrassi. And past him. Next up, Bruno Senna. Great run here. We'll go to the inside of Senna. And under braking. We should have that one. 20th place. Oh gosh, everybody real slow here as I'm trying to mess around with my front wing settings. I think he's set to set it to the uh, front up position, I think. A better grip because of the damage. Oh, somebody's spun. And there's a yellow flag out. I think it might have been Liotzi there. It was one of the Force Indios. No, they give me a penalty. Oh, bloody ignoring a yellow flag. No, I didn't. Why is he slammed on the brakes on the straight? Silly, silly game. Anyway, we've got a drive through penalty then. That's a real strange run. You're already past what's caused the yellow flag. So you're expecting it to go green. But it doesn't. But then they slam on the brakes. And then there's nothing you can do because you're right behind them, you know. I'm on intermediate difficulty and they're still seconds quicker a lap. What is with the AI on this track? It's incredible how fast they are. Trolley is three seconds up the road now. I'll bring it into the pits for my drive through Limit penalty. May as well pit now. Right, we've rejoined in, obviously, last. There we go, then. Helga Suarez set the fastest lap of the race. Classic F1 2010 rubber banding. Weber still leads, though, after four laps. Good news is we are actually catching the drivers ahead. So I'm not the slowest out there. Oh, uh, somebody's dropped out of the race. Helga Suarez He's 23rd, and he must have crashed with somebody because I'm now 22nd. Nice. This driver's in the pits. I knew some might try a one-stop. If they're on it coming in on lap seven, which it is lap seven now, they've got to be on a one-stop. It's Karun Chandok as well. So we're up into the top 20. Degrassi and Chandok in the new prime tyres. Yellow flags are out. Hulkenberg off and out of the race, I assume. Luckily, I'm not going to get a penalty for that. Tyres are pretty worn right now. We need to still go another two laps before pitting. We've been slowly plugging away at the gap in front. It's not coming down as fast as I want it to. But that could be down to the damage I have on the front wing. And just as I've got to the back of Leotzi, it's time to come into the pits. Let's see if anybody else dives from pit lane. Nope, just me apparently. So in we go for our one and only stop in this race. Put the pit lane speed limiter on. Such a wide pit lane here. Make sure we get the brakes on coming into the pits. Very tight angle as well. New front wing going on alongside the prime tyres. It's hopefully make us really, really fast. We are so far last in 19th place. So only 19 drivers left in the race. Pretty tough part of the race. We're approaching half race distance and I feel like I'm in no man's land. The gap to the car ahead is, let's have a look, Degrassi 10.8. So we are closing in on Degrassi by maybe a second a lap. Oh, almost spun. Saved it though. Saved it though. <laughs> okay. Um, we must have hit an auto spin curb. So apparently Degrassi is coming into the pit soon. And we are closing in on him really quickly as well. What is the gap? 7.4 now. We are gaining a lot of time. But sadly, I reckon by the time I actually get up to the back of him, he'll be going into the pit lane. Kind of ironic that Felipe Massa is leading the championship. But we've turned up to the one circuit he truly is remarkable at. And, and he's nowhere near the front. Starting lap 19 now. The gap to Degrassi is three and a bit seconds. It's coming down quick. <laughs> Rob, the race engineer, has just said there's some slower traffic ahead. As in, I'm lapping people? I, what? What's going on? There's a driver just rejoining in front of me. Glock's behind me as well. That's Liotzi just rejoining in front. Okay, we're up to 18. Objective in this race now with about eight laps to go. Is to beat my teammate. He's up in 14th. He's seven seconds up the road. The grassy into the pits. Okay, we're going to gain another place. It's too bad they, they keep pitting just as I'm about to overtake them. There's a yellow flag out as well. I've got Timo Glock all over me. He's on one of those two stops. But he's got loads of pace. I can actually see my teammate Trolley now. He's about three and a half seconds up the road. Just ahead of Liotzi. Just set my personal best lap. The gap is coming down. I can see them. They're right in front of me. I think there's a yellow flag. Somebody's going slow up ahead. Sadly, I think it's been cleared now. Leotzi is stuck behind Trolley, which is good. It's good for me, at least. I can see them both now. Maybe we can use the, the fast engine mode. 
for the rest of the race. Look at this for a run. Lilsi and Trolley will go to the inside of both of them under braking. Do we have this move done? Trolley's keeping it in there. We have the inside line for this final corner. And we've taken the position. A double overtake. We're up to 15th place. Three laps to go. The gap to the car ahead is three seconds. Nico Rosberg is the car ahead for some reason. He might have been the one who made a mistake. Who brought out the yellow flags about four laps ago. It's a train of four cars ahead. That will go all the way up until 11th place. That's almost into the points. Well, they're there for the taking. We have one lap to go. Come on, this is now getting exciting. First up is Nico Rosberg in the Mercedes. Where can we get through? Maybe up the inside. I've pushed him wide. Not getting the position though. Down the long back straight. That's that's the way, place to do it. Mark Webber wins the race. Oh, okay, come on. Let's get the exit. That's the exit we need. Here we go. Straight line speed. We've gone past two of them. There's two more. Kobayashi and Bruno Senna. We'll go to the inside. Got it slowed down. We got the position. Yes. Brilliant final lap. It's going to be 11th place. What a race that was. What a recovery drive. Come on. Yes, almost points. No points. Almost, though. I'm really happy with that. It's Weber ahead of the legend himself, Felipe Massa. Hamilton in third. Alonso only fifth. Sebastian Buemi up in sixth place. What in the world's going on there? James Early, 11th. Without that drive-through, that could have been seventh place, honestly. Wow. Not bad. Diano Trolley at the end uh, finishes miles behind me. He finishes six seconds behind me in the end. We had five DNFs. Sebastian Vettel. The big one. And it's Mark Webber and Felipe Massa tied for the lead of the championship. And now they're 22 points clear of third place Sebastian Vettel. Hamilton almost level with Vettel there. And we're still 11th place, but Buemi is closing in pretty quickly. And it's Red Bull and Ferrari separated by only seven points. McLaren doing real well now in third place. Then it's Renault, Mercedes, and it's best of the rest. It's a battle between four teams for sixth place. Lotus, Toro Rosso, Force India, and Williams separated by five points. We met the race objective. That's fantastic. Well, there we have it, guys. That is the end of this episode of the F1 2010 career. And it started pretty rough with that drive through penalty early on and the wing damage. And it looked like all hope was lost. But we kept at it. We stayed fighting. We stayed in there as well. And on the last lap, we made up four positions to finish in 11th place. What a result that was. Next time will be the Canadian Grand Prix. I'm looking forward to that one. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.